Get a North Korea has the ability to launch a cyber attack The claims comes after the FBI and Homeland Security announced Pyongyang Urza behind a malware attack known as FALLCHILL, which targeted the aerospace, telecommunications and financial industries. This is just the latest blamed on the hermit kingdom after North Koreans have also been blamed for cyber attacks on media companies like Sony and the UK's Channel 4, international banks and the infamous WannaCry ransomware that shut down the NHS last spring. Although the mysterious country is well known for its antiquated internet systems, this does not mean they cannot launch an attack. Edward Whittingham, former police officer, qualified solicitor, and founder of the Business Fraud Prevention Partnership BFPP said, Cyber attacks are easier to launch than people often appreciate and, to an extent, these types of attacks could be considered the perfect weapon as an alternative to military attacks. As a small state, particularly as isolated as North Korea currently is, a cyber attack provides North Korea with a genuine option to cause significant damage, with much less chance of public or military reprisal than if they were to launch a missile. For for example, given what we saw occur with WannaCry, it is fair to assume that North Korea is more than capable of launching a serious cyber attack, but there are many reasons why this occurred and so many nations are now capable of similar attacks, should they wish to do so, and in times of rising tensions between the US and North Korea, cyber attacks could be the perfect weapon for the dictator. Mr. Whittingham added, clearly, as cyber attacks carry a much lower risk than any physical military action, which will definitely be something North Korea is aware of, why risk worldwide repercussions for making a very public attack in the form of a missile, when they could launch a cyber attack which is likely to go under the radar to an extent, the country also reportedly engages in cyber espionage. A South Korean lawmaker claimed the nation at the South Korean Defense Ministry in Sept. 2016 and stole a lot of data, including partial plans on how the US and South Korea would attack the North. Christian Luprecht, a professor at the Royal Military College of Canada and Queen's University told Global News that cyber attacks are the ideal weapon for North Korea because as well as being secretive the attacks do not require the same expense as weapons development the sanctions squeeze has hit Kim Jong-un hard. He said, the nuclear program is life insurance for the regime. It's the cheapest coverage they can buy. And the other cheap way that they can cause a lot of havoc is in the cybersphere because the costs are minimal. Getty cyber warfare could be the next frontier for North Korea Although North Korea has the ability to launch a cyber attack, it is unlikely they could bring Britain to its knees. It is important to note that their capabilities have limits. It is also necessary for governments and businesses to protect themselves against these attacks. Mr. Whittingham added, We're yet to see a cyber attack that has effectively crippled a government but that isn't to say it is impossible. It's highly unlikely that North Korea would launch an attack to cripple a government at this stage, but governments are also acutely aware of the need to protect itself. This is the same whether that by cyber warfare or traditional warfare, all countries are capable of going to war and defending themselves, so it is fair to say that such techniques are likely to lend themselves to spying rather than an allowed attack designed to topple a government. We shouldn't forget that the huge WannaCry outbreak was predominantly as damaging as it was due to poor infrastructure, lack of patching and inadequate user awareness training, as opposed to be an expertly executed cyber attack.